Dispensationalism is a theology and hermeneutic that emphasizes the distinction between God's plan for Israel and the church throughout history, and that this distinction is revealed through different dispensations or periods of time. Dispensationalists believe that God has different plans and purposes for Israel and the church, which are revealed in the Bible through different covenants and promises. They also believe that the church is a distinct entity from Israel, and that God's plan for the church is separate from his plan for Israel. This perspective is often referred to as Israel church distinction which is the foundation of dispensationalism. One of the key tenets of dispensationalism is the belief in a future rapture of believers, in which Christians will be taken up to heaven before a seven-year tribulation period on earth. During this tribulation period, non-believers will be left on earth to face judgment and persecution, before the return of Christ. This belief is based on the dispensationalist interpretation of passages such as 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 17 and Revelation 3 verse 10. Dispensationalists also believe that this event is imminent and that it will happen before the second coming of Jesus Christ, which they call the Great Tribulation. Critics of dispensationalism argue that it is not a biblical doctrine because it is not explicitly taught in the Bible and because it divides the Bible's teachings on God's plan of salvation in a way that is not supported by the text. They argue that the Bible teaches that God's plan of salvation is the same for all people, both Jew and Gentile, and that there is no distinction between Israel and the church. They also point out that the idea of a rapture and a subsequent tribulation period is not found in the Bible, and that the word rapture is not even found in the Bible. They also argue that dispensationalism's interpretation of the Bible is selective and often ignores passages that contradict their beliefs. They also argue that dispensationalism's focus on end times events and future prophecy detracts from the main message of the Bible, which is the person and work of Jesus Christ and the call to repentance and faith in Him. Furthermore, dispensationalism is a man-made doctrine, developed by theologians in the 19th century, that is not rooted in historical Christian teaching. Many critics argue that dispensationalism is a product of its time, reflecting the cultural and political milieu of the 19th century, and that it is not a true reflection of the Bible's teachings. It's important to note that dispensationalism is a relatively new theology and did not exist before the 19th century, and that its originators such as John Nelson Darby, C.I. Schofield, and Lewis Sperry Chafer, have been instrumental in popularizing it. It is also important to note that dispensationalism is a diverse theology, with different variations and degrees of emphasis on certain aspects of dispensationalism. There are also different types of dispensationalism such as classical dispensationalism, progressive dispensationalism and many more. It's important to understand that different dispensationalists may have different views on certain aspects of theology and interpretation of the Bible. Some may be more literal in their interpretation while others may be more metaphorical. It's important to note that theology is a complex field and there are many different viewpoints within Christianity, so the above summary represents one perspective and not a universally accepted viewpoint. It's always recommended to study the Bible and consult with other theologians to form your own understanding of the doctrine. Dispensationalism as a distinct theology and hermeneutic began in the 19th century. The origins of dispensationalism can be traced back to the teachings of John Nelson Darby, an Anglo-Irish theologian and preacher who was a key figure in the Plymouth Brethren movement. Darby's ideas on dispensationalism were influenced by his study of the Bible and his belief in the imminent return of Jesus Christ. He believed that the Bible revealed a clear distinction between God's plan for Israel and the church, and that this distinction was revealed through different dispensations or periods of time. Darby's ideas on dispensationalism were further popularized by the publication of the Schofield Reference Bible in 1909, which was edited by C.I. Schofield. The Schofield Reference Bible included annotations that reflected Darby's dispensationalist theology, and it became a popular resource among American evangelicals. Schofield's work helped to spread dispensationalism throughout the United States, and it became a dominant theology among American evangelicals in the early 20th century. Dispensationalism also gained popularity through the teachings of Lewis Sperry Chafer, who founded Dallas Theological Seminary, which became a leading dispensationalist institution. Through his books, lectures, 
In the seminary, Chafer helped to popularize dispensationalism and solidify its position in American evangelical theology. It's important to note that while dispensationalism began in the 19th century, it was not a cohesive theology and it was not always labeled as dispensationalism. The ideas and theology that would later be known as dispensationalism were developed by different individuals, in different parts of the world, and under different circumstances. The main idea behind dispensationalism, which is the distinction between God's plan for Israel and the Church, was present in some form before the 19th century but it was not fully developed until Darby, Schofield, and Chafer's teachings. However, it's also important to note that some of the early founders of dispensationalism have been involved in scandals and controversies. For example, John Nelson Darby was involved in several controversies within the Plymouth Brethren movement, including accusations of authoritarian leadership and exclusion of members from the movement. C. I. Schofield was also involved in scandals, including accusations of financial impropriety and marital infidelity. While these controversies do not necessarily invalidate the theology of dispensationalism, they do call into question the integrity and motives of its early founders. In addition, it is important to note that many theologians, pastors and scholars disagree with dispensationalism and have raised objections to some of its key tenets, such as the distinction between God's plan for Israel and the Church, the imminent rapture, and the concept of dispensations. They argue that these concepts are not rooted in the Bible and are man-made interpretations. It is important to consider these critiques and to continue to study the Bible and other theological resources to form your own understanding of the doctrine. Dispensationalism has been the subject of much criticism and debate in theology, with many theologians and scholars arguing that it has several major issues and faults in its interpretations. Some of the main criticisms of dispensationalism include, asterisk distinction between Israel and the Church. One of the core tenets of dispensationalism is the belief that God has separate plans for Israel and the Church, which are revealed through different dispensations or periods of time. Critics argue that this distinction is not supported by the Bible and that it creates a false dichotomy between Israel and the Church. They argue that the Bible teaches that God's plan of salvation is the same for all people, both Jew and Gentile, and that there is no distinction between Israel and the Church. They also point out that the New Testament teaches that the Church is the continuation of Israel, the spiritual Israel, and that the promises given to Israel in the Old Testament are fulfilled in the Church. Asterisk emphasis on end times events and future prophecy. Dispensationalism places a strong emphasis on end times events, such as the rapture and the tribulation period, which are believed to happen before the second coming of Jesus Christ. Critics argue that this focus on end times events detracts from the main message of the Bible, which is the person and work of Jesus Christ and the call to repentance and faith in Him. They also argue that the Bible does not teach a specific end times timeline or sequence of events. They point out that the Bible calls us to be ready for Jesus Christ's return at any moment, but it doesn't give us a specific timeline or sequence of events. Asterisk selective interpretation of the Bible, critics argue that dispensationalism's interpretation of the Bible is selective and often ignores passages that contradict their beliefs. They argue that dispensationalists tend to interpret passages in a literal way when it supports their theology, but in a metaphorical way when it does not. This selective interpretation often leads to a disconnect between Old and New Testament passages and a lack of coherence in the overall theology. They also argue that dispensationalists often take passages out of context and interpret them in a way that was not intended by the original authors. Asterisk lack of historical roots. Dispensationalism is a relatively new theology that originated in the 19th century and did not exist before that time. Critics argue that it is not rooted in historical Christian teaching and that it is a product of its time, reflecting the cultural and political milieu of the 19th century. They also argue that it is not attested to in church history, and that it is not a theology that has been held by the majority of Christians throughout history. Critics point out that dispensationalism is not a traditional doctrine, it is a recent development, and as such it is not rooted in the historical theology of the church. Asterisk political implications. Dispensationalism has been criticized for its political implications, 
particularly its support of the State of Israel and its alignment with certain political ideologies. Critics argue that dispensationalism's emphasis on God's plan for Israel and the Church can lead to a justification of certain political actions and policies. Asterisk it's important to note that theology is a complex field and there are many different viewpoints within Christianity, so the above summary represents one perspective and not a universally accepted viewpoint. It's always recommended to study the Bible and consult with other theologians to form your own understanding of the doctrine. It's important to understand that different dispensationalists may have different views on certain aspects of theology and interpretation of the Bible. In conclusion, dispensationalism is a theology that has been heavily criticized by many theologians and scholars for its faulty interpretations, lack of biblical support, and its lack of historical roots. It's important to approach dispensationalism with discernment and to be loyal to the true faith, which is rooted in the teachings of the Bible and the historical theology of the Church. Dispensationalism may present itself as a valid doctrine but it is ultimately a man-made idea that distorts the true message of the Bible and it should be treated as such. Remember, our ultimate goal as Christians is to love God and love others, and to seek the truth in all things, including theology. As you continue to explore different theological perspectives, we encourage you to keep an open mind, but also to critically evaluate them in light of the Bible and church history. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. May God